Welcome back to another video of Activerse Universe. Today is a new day. And we got a what? We got a banger. Banger. Banger, banger, banger. Let's get it. Come on, y'all. Get hype. You feel me? Guys, I got something cool for y'all today. I hope you guys enjoy it. I shot in a period of like two weeks ago. Two weeks last week actually uh when the homie got married and stuff like that so i'm gonna be talking about that throughout the video i hope you guys enjoy this video but before we get into the video you know what to do here is intro intro guys I'm at the barber shop right now with Nick the barber I'm gonna shout him out at the end of this video I know that uh, that he cut me for my wedding so that video is gonna come out when the wedding videos come out on the verse family so stay tuned and enjoy this transformation y'all Alright guys, just got done getting a cut, fresh cut, fresh cut by Nick the Barber, man. Yes sir, let me shout him out so y'all know where he at. Yes sir, let him know where you at and then who you are. Nick the Barber, you know it. Yes sir. Surprise Arizona. Uh-huh. GNA Hair Salon, come check me out. Check him out, y'all. <laughs> Uh, I might leave his link in the description so if you guys want to like book an appointment and everything everything's all done online and uh, He's a surprise so anybody that's close like like Peoria Glendale even Phoenix North Phoenix and stuff like that's kind of close uh, So you guys can come and get a fresh cut like mine. All right, man. Appreciate you dog uh, what, Yes, sir fix my beard and stuff like that, you know get me to to look crispy you know, even with the haircut, like I look like a different man. Like I'm, a, I'm off a different man. I'm off a different system. <laughs> but yeah, go check out Nick the Barber, man. Man, the, he hooked it up, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, it's fresh, it's fresh, man. But I'm gonna go home, uh, show you guys how I'm fix this in the front of my dreads, and I'm gonna put a few jewelry on. I'm thinking about, ugh. It's not, it's not my wedding or anything like that, so I don't think I should put anything that's going to attract, you know, views on me. Like, it's not my wedding. It's not my wedding. So, I might just leave it how it is. Uh, of course, I want to look good. So, I'm going to show you guys me dressing up and everything. Fresh to death. Fresh to death. How you guys like my outro? Stay tuned, you dig? Oh, that's kind of clean. Oh, again, y'all. This kind of turn, I gotta turn slower, but the car's coming at me fast. All right. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna see you guys at the crib. Out. All right, guys. Thank you for watching the whole video. First of all, you know what I'm saying. But right here, as you guys see, the danger problem I talk about is uh, what you guys see exposed right there. I'm exposing myself, it don't matter. But you wanna get those out before you start doing this because you don't wanna lock them up inside the dreadlock. So what I did was I kinda started separating a little bit in between to get them out and kinda like, you know, push them out, um, like rub them out. Uh, and then basically what I started doing is I twisted my hair and I twisted it in the length so like whatever is out of the dread basically I put it against the dread and the length that it should be and then basically what I did was I grabbed the crochet hook and I, I, after I twisted a couple of times um, I'm gonna go through in and out with the crochet hook grabbing the hair from one side to the other side and dreading it together basically so this is not a natural way of doing it. You know, for those of you guys that want to do it naturally, you guys can do it naturally. You just have to put like, um, you just have to twist it with a um, with a gel or whatever. 
and uh, or put a rubber band, which I don't recommend people putting a rubber band, especially when it gets hot, uh, and then let it let in the lock itself. But usually my hair, it needs some kind of help with the crochet needle uh, because I just got a retwist recently, but like you guys can see, nothing got locked up. Uh, it just was twisted, you know? That's what's the difference between twisted and dreadlocks. Dreadlocks is when it's dreaded together. And uh, mine can literally be a whole big old free form if I just don't retwist my hair. So you guys can see the whole root right there need a lot of work. And so that's what I'm gonna get into it as you guys, uh, as, I, as I'm telling you guys how to do it, um, I will be fixing basically the front ones. I'm not gonna be getting to the middle ones and to the back. It's a lot of pro it's a lot of process. And I might do it one of these days, you know, take about two, three hours to do all of them because they like the root is growing like tremendously but the retwist and stuff like that it's just twisting my hair and that's all it's doing it's not it's not interlocking it it's not locking it up and that's 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 really like the difference between a retwist and a crochet needle like retwist not a retwist but crochet needle in it uh so i do recommend you guys to do this at least once every three months or so uh just to get the whole hair combine together the new growth uh but if you guys just want to just grow it out and let the and have the like the semi freeform look to it i recommend that too because i do like that i do like that look versus uh being retwist and i can see my scalp i do not like to see my scalp um even though it's good for like if you see your scalp if you want to put like oil and stuff like that it can get to your roots pretty fast uh, I do not like seeing my scalp and stuff like that. I have, I like have like a semi little uh, afro on the bottom, and so sometimes I I let it grow to that till it gets there. But you want to fix the front because the front literally did did detect uh, detect detect your front hair basically detects detect it detect dictates. There we go. Dictates the whole look of your dreadlock sorry guys i'm from africa uh so you want to fix your front at least once a month or so so you can look good with a fresh cut and a lineup and stuff like that because when it's like all messy it don't look like you gotta it don't look it looks like you got a cut but not not as much after like you guys can see the whole transformation after i do the whole thing you guys would be like well it looks really good in the front and uh, i'm not making it too tight or anything like that i'm letting it loose a little bit i'm not gripping it too tight i'm not trying to make it all the way bottom to the bottom drill locks i'm trying to have the little bottom one look full like afro or you know um, new growth still you know and so I'm just not gonna lock it all the way to the roots. And it's bad to kind of mess around your roots with a crochet needle, especially if you don't know the direction that you're like, you know, uh, crochet hooking it. So you gotta be careful when it gets down to the root. You guys don't wanna crochet needle everything, pulling it against the root, you know? You wanna go, you wanna work with the dreads and the direction that the dread is growing out to. So it's, it's growing out, so you gotta uh, crochet needle out, you know? you can't go against or towards your roots and you know you end up pulling some of your roots with the crochet needle so you got to be careful on that uh you can't just use crochet needle without you know getting a little tutorial and this is basically the tutorial of it as you guys can see i'm grabbing some of the hair that belongs to that section and uh as i'm recording on the video i'm not literally seeing what it looks like right there like right now i, I see it and i know what i can do better but uh, as I was doing it, you know, I can barely see the viewfinder. It's hard for me to see it uh, while I'm doing crochet needle and while I'm showing you guys. So I'm not, I'm not getting 100% work done right now. But I think later on I end up fixing that little chunk that's like hanging on the left side, which doesn't belong to that dread. I just need to push it to the other side and then uh, crochet needle a little tilt. See that? I just did it right there. Yep, right there. I uh, just need to pull it to the other side, see which one belongs to which uh, section so I don't, uh, you know, mess up the growth, basically. Because you don't want to pull from far off and trying to connect it because then you're going to end up basically um, basically pulling from the other side. And later on, when it grows out, literally it's going to have a big old like reach, basically. It's reaching from one side to the other side to connect to the other side of the dread. And then it's gonna like, you're gonna end up basically, especially if you go to the loctician, they're gonna end up ripping that out. So that's gonna hurt your dreadlock. So you gotta be careful 
uh, when you grab some part of your hair that, are, that doesn't belong to the section. And my hair is original section, that's why I'm saying section. Some of you guys just may not be sectioned, but you guys can tell by how close it is to the dread yeah, that it should be connected or not. Or else later on, like I said, once it grows out and it gets long, you're gonna end up having to pull it and stuff like that. So, and I'd rather you guys not do that because it's gonna hurt your dreads. It's gonna hurt the growth that you guys accomplished. Uh, it's gonna thin out your dreads and you don't, wanna, you don't want that happening. But yeah, I'm gonna just fast forward the rest of it and so you guys can see uh, that I fixed the whole front. To be honest with you, I need to do a whole dreads, like I said. You know, you can you can you can see it needs some work on the roots. Uh, the dreads are looking good, but the roots need a little bit of work. I got a retwist. Like I said, getting a retwist is very different. It's not like it's like starter locks, right? When you start your locks, you get uh, you get the finger coil method or you know the comb coil method or whatever. And if you wash it, automatically it comes out. It's kind of like the same with a retwist. You just kind of twisting it and that's all you're doing to it and when you wash it it's gonna untwist itself it's obviously uh that's what's gonna happen you know what i'm saying and so you have to do some work to it with some crochet needle or with some other methods like rubber banding it to like gross and dreads itself or something like that or else it's gonna start connecting itself and it become semi free form unless you're going for that look so yeah enjoy the rest of the video some of this right here off some of that off put that down shaped up got the neck trimmed got the beard trimmed my beard can grow good now i'm almost like at the full beard i think i can get full beard really if i kept on going hopefully you guys enjoyed my whole transformation my hair looks like this my front is really good looking now and i'm gonna put it in the ponytail maybe it went one down yeah probably gonna do this Then I'm at the wedding, so I'm gonna dress up and then I'll be the last thing. All right, this is what it looked like right now. I didn't put the jacket on because I was like, I don't need it right now because I'm gonna be taking photos and stuff like that. So I need to, you know, be flexible. Because with the jacket, it's hard to, flex to be flexible. But I'm about to put my hair tie on. Yes, sir. Come on now. Put my socks on. 
about to put my socks on and I'm ready to go. Let's get it! Alright guys, I'm ready to go. Happy for the broski, Taj, Kony, Vision. Congrats my guy. And thanks for this video, bro. <laughs> so you all, I'm getting ready. Yes sir, I'm ready. I got my I just got my jacket on after that and I'm good to go. So let's get it guys. Thank you for watching the video. Check out the previous video. But till next time, keep acting diverse and creating your universe. Hairstyle. Oh! I'm out. Stay tuned, you dig?